Hi everyone and welcome to our house tour. I know how much you've been dying for this house tour so come on in, come on let's have a look at the Radford house. Let's start with our vestibule. I think that's what you call it. It's like our first hallway. With my massive Ikea storage. I love this. Look, just loads of coats in it. <laughs> my double pram. Just coats everywhere. And bags. Just stuff everywhere <laughs> and then go through into our hallway another big pram there look at those marathon pictures love these so yeah that's our hall and then we go through into our dining room I love this dining room. It's so good. I think Amy's having fun out in the garden. <laughs> She's got some shoes. <laughs> Crazy child. Oh, I think I have a feeling that Ellie is actually throwing stuff out the window. As you do. <laughs> Crazy kids. So yeah, this is our dining room. The massive table. Ellie. I love this dining room. And our Australia pictures. Look at these. Love these. And oh, these are my favourite pictures. Koalas in from Australia. Yeah, I do. I love them pictures. And I love this as well. It needs a new one, I think, because there's a few that need adding on to that. Archie and the new baby. So from the dining room we go into the kitchen I hate this kitchen but thankfully it's getting ripped out next month so it's all going to be changed honestly I can't wait to just get it all ripped out I hate it I do love my big fridge though I must admit I do love it so yeah that's the kitchen And then we basically go through the kitchen. This is the hallway. Look at this shoe storage. Anyone that comes in the house that hasn't been in before laughs at this shoe storage. Look at it all. This is not normally this tidy. But every now and then I have a right good clear out of the shoes. And I've done that today. Took like a bin bag full of shoes out. Because as you can imagine, we go through lots of them. So yeah, now then. Are you ready for this? Let's go in the living room where most of the kids are. Hello! <laughs> so this is the living room. With everybody. Oh, Archie! Wow! Yeah, this is a big living room. I love how high up our ceilings are. I think that's the thing, isn't it, with old houses, is that you get a lot of character, don't you? I do love this room. Got a real fire that we actually lit the other day because it was absolutely freezing. Love that fire. And I also love this. Look at this. This is Noel's lifesaver, this. This has got everybody's dates of birth on. And uh, yeah, without that, I think Noel might be quite lost. Although there's a few that still need adding on to that. 
Yeah, I love that. Somebody made us that on Facebook. I like it. And then over here we've got our wedding renewal pictures. And the big toy box. Masses and masses of toys. Archie! Are you playing? Are you playing? So yeah, that is the living room. Right. What are you doing? Are you going to play out? Okay. Go and get one, darling. No, it's I'm going upstairs. That's just a little toy in there. Let's go. Oh, this, honestly, there's far too many flights of stairs in this house. This is the girls' room. So we've got Katie, Amy, Ellie and Tilly in this bedroom. Yeah. I don't know if you remember or not, but this room used to have the massive bunk beds all along that wall there. The triple ones. We've ripped all them out. I don't know what they've been watching on there. Netflix. And then we've got like a few pictures. Look at Katie. So yes, that's the girls' room. And then we've got, this is a really small room this. Um, this is probably the smallest room that we have, bedroom wise. And this is Josh and Max. Yeah, that's their room. As you can see, it is really small. But it does then. And then in here we have Chloe's room. I do love the fact that all of these rooms in our house are really big. We're really lucky that they are quite big rooms. So yeah, that's Chloe's room. And then we go back out. So yeah, that was Chloe's room. And now we're gonna go into the messy boys room. So this is Luke, Daniel, and then James is on one of the top bunks up there. So yeah, this is the room. I see the messy room. Isn't it, Luke? No. <laughs> oh, well, I beg to differ. But yeah, as you can probably tell, Luke is into his gaming. So yeah, this room is going to get decorated after the kitchen, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it's still a really good size room, I think. Bunk beds are brilliant, no one made these bunk beds. Nobody sleeps in that bunk now. So yeah, that is the boys' room. And then we're gonna go into the kids' bathroom. So this is, as I say, the kids' bathroom. Just because it's on there floor so they just use this the most unless of course they want a bath and then they just use our bathroom and then we have cues for the bath but yeah I love I think you can really see that actually but um I love these stained glass windows uh I think that's the thing isn't it when you have old houses they are really really nice
but we will have to replace them at some point. Although I'm kind of thinking when we do come to replace them, I think we're just going to put double glaze unit outside of it and keep the original. Because I do love them. Right, let's go on to the top floor. You can tell the kids are back from school, can't you? Everything just gets dumped on the bed and the floor. So, more flights of stairs. I'm telling you, I need oxygen by the time I get up to the top. There is too many. So yeah, let's start with our bedroom first. You've probably seen this anyway loads of times but um it's our room love that saying also I know loads of people have asked where this duvet comes from and it was from next for anybody that wants to know so yes, that's our room. Still a really good size. And I love these beams. Love them. Look at this little picture. See it focus? did that. So let's go into the boys room. This is Oscar and Casper's room and of course little Archie Bears. So that's Casper's bed and that's Oscar's bed at the top. I love how the ceilings just slope down. Love this room actually. It's probably one of my favourite rooms in the house. This baby's bed, ready for her. And as you can probably tell, Oscar's a really big Thomas <laughs> tank engine fan. He loves Thomas. Yeah, that's their bedroom. And then we'll go into Hallie and Phoebe's. I love this bedroom, it's so cute. Look at this. We've got little um, Hallie's bed and Phoebe's bed. The little rainbow bedding. And then I love this little saying. Look at this. And Phoebe's. It's still a really decent sized bedroom, I think, really, for them. They don't need anything massive, and you can still fit the two beds and a wardrobe. So that's our floor. Oh, yeah, we've just got like a little we've got our bathroom. That is it. Right, let's go back. Downstairs. It's quiet. I think they're all in the living room. Or the kitchen, actually. <laughs> you doing tea now? Yes. <laughs> oh, yummy. Right, let's go downstairs. Oh, look. Let's pick that up, put it in the laundry basket. So, this is the basement. It's another stained glass window there. Look at this. Look at Noel's treadmill. I think he's having a bit of a midlife crisis. <laughs> 
Right, this is my laundry room. I love this laundry room. I'm just going to put that in there actually. So yeah, this is my laundry room. With my massive 18 kilo washing machine. Honestly, I love this washing machine. It's amazing. I don't think you can get a proper feel of how big it is from this, but it is massive. And as you can see, it's on. It's always on. Right. So, we have got in here another bedroom downstairs in the basement. This isn't actually anybody's bedroom at the moment. Um, Chloe's taking it for her makeup room. She started doing makeup, so this is what she's using for that. Although I think possibly either Luke or Daniel are going to get that bedroom. So yeah. And then this is Millie's. Which again is quite a big room really. I don't really think any of the bedrooms in this house are small. I think they're all quite decent sizes. Actually, this is interesting. This wall here, this used to be a dumb waiter that used to go all the way up and into our living room, which was the cupboard that I have all of my handbags in, which is quite interesting. Yeah, we discovered that when we were having this all replastered. That's Millie's room. So let's go into Jack's room. So this is Jack's room. This is a massive room. And as you can probably tell, Jack is well into his gaming. I mean, like seriously, why do you even need three screens? Look at that stash. I think I'll be having some more in a bit. <laughs> So yeah, this is Jack's bedroom, it's massive, probably too big for him really, he is the only one that has this bedroom and it's huge. I've often thought I think this room would be brilliant as a downstairs lounge, eventually when they come to move out it might get turned into a downstairs lounge. So yeah, that's about it really. Jack's room. And that's it for the basement. Look at that <laughs> Makes me laugh because he's bought it and he's hardly even used it. So yeah, that is about it for our house tour. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, catch you again soon. Bye.